KTRH News Time, 717. Oh, they prayed. I wanted to feel the community of other Christians that we share together in the common thoughts of lifting up our hearts to the Lord and, and lifting up our country to the Lord. Well over 30,000 prayed at Reliance Stadium on Saturday. So did it accomplish what they set out to accomplish? Let's find out. It's a head-to-head right now. Matt Angle, Democratic strategist, founder of the Lone Star Project, joins us. Also, Pat Carlson with the Texas Eagle Forum joining us this morning. It is great to have you both back with us on Houston's Morning News. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you, Matt. Um, Good morning. uh, Ladies first. So, Pat, let me start with you uh, real quick. Uh, Do you feel that the response uh, accomplished what the governor uh, hoped to accomplish uh, by gathering people and fasting and praying for this country? I do. I think, and I think they gathered out of a concern for this country, not as a political ploy to set uh, uh, Governor uh, Governor Perry's uh, presidential bid. And I think it did. I, I, I. I didn't get to go there, but I've got goosebumps just listening to parts of it when the governor prayed for our country. Pat, that's uh, that's uh, I'm glad you said that. Matt, I'm going to throw it to you now. Uh, the governor prayed for the president, which I thought was very nice. I'm not sure if he's praying for four more years or praying that he leaves in 2012. But uh, in your opinion, you think this was nothing more than a political ploy? Well, I think that uh, for the people that were there, uh, I'm sure it was spiritual and it was rewarding. For Governor Perry, it was just another political event. It's very cynical. Governor Perry's been a professional politician for over 20 years. He's been governor for over 10 years, except uh, he's never had this type of political rally at a religious event before. Uh, he just so happens to bring these people together on the uh, crest of him announcing for president. And so I think it's really cynical, and even to the point of being, I, I think, uh, despicable that the governor would take advantage of the faith of 30,000 people in order to launch a presidential campaign. It's, it's, he really... Well, he did, he has, he did, now, Matt, in all, in all fairness, he did not launch his presidential campaign uh, this weekend. He never said anything I, about it. Now, I hey, tell you what, Matt, I would, I'll would i bet you some money that <laughs> uh, his uh, he runs for president. He's been launching his presidential campaign since the day after the election when he went on a book tour rather than stay in the state of Texas. All right, now, hang on, you guys. I love your passion. Uh, when we come back, I want to talk about the protesters who were protesting against each other uh, at the response and where we go uh, from here. Matt Angle and Pat Carlson going to join us just on the other side of traffic and weather together. It's been said that they they are the ones that are a little too evangelical for a lot of the protesters. Well, what is too evangelical? I mean, what who gives that definition to anybody? And, and you know, let me come back to what this what Matt said. Shame on him for saying that the, that the governor took advantage of these religious groups. How does he know that the governor is not seeking to see seeking God's will and whether he should or he should not run for president? He should look, and he's talking about religion in politics. Look at this president we have who gives more importance to Ramadan than he does our Christian celebration of Easter. And I, 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 again, who defines what is too evangelical and what is not evangelical? All right, Pat, let me get uh, Matt in here. Uh, Matt, your response, sir. Well, that's a hysterical statement. I have great respect for uh, Ms. Carlson, but she has doesn't know what she's talking about, about Re- Ramadan versus Easter. President Obama is a Christian. Uh, he leads a Christian lifestyle. He's a good father, a strong family man. As, in terms of Governor Perry, it's clear that he is a religious man, but it takes a particularly cynical person who would use a religious rally as a political launching pad. I think if he thought it would help his presidential campaign, he'd he'd plan a a Hawaiian luau. He will do whatever it takes to promote himself politically. Matt, wouldn't you... cynical and despicable. But but we could say that uh, about uh, pretty much any politician. I mean, the president of the United States used his 50th birthday party as a fundraiser. So, I mean, this is, you know, I mean, to to use that argument, uh, you could use that argument, uh, you know, with this president as well. I I mean, you're not... Uh, not, uh, uh, Matt, you're, you're just wrong. To compare a 50th birthday party with a religious rally in which someone is appealing to people's belief in Jesus Christ as our Savior is entirely different, and again, particularly cynical. All right, Matt. Matt? Uh, 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 real, no, I'm sorry. R- real quick, uh, Pat. Well, real, 
Go ahead. Real quick, uh, ahead. the governor has been hold has been holding prayer breakfast for years. I've been going to them for uh, real other other conservative leaders. So to say that he's all of a sudden just got, uh, held this rally for his own benefit is just wrong. And again, pr- President uh, Obama. Issue a statement for Ramadan, but he w- he did not issue a statement uh, on behalf of Easter. So that definitely shows a preference for Ramadan. Hey, you guys, thank you. Thank That's you. ridiculous. Thank you so much. I'm going to have you guys back. I love this. Matt Angle and Pat Carlson, thank you for joining us here this morning. We certainly do appreciate it. Woo! Got to love that. All right, let's take a look at our money news right now. You want to hear?